Hey everyone, Andy here at NAB 2014, here at the Zacuto booth, checking out the new Gradical HD viewfinder from Zacuto. Here with Steve, Mr. Zacuto himself. Tell me about this thing, what's going on? It looks right. great in there, by the way, I love it. Yeah, okay, here's the deal. So this is, uh, the screen size is 1280 across and 1024 down. So the idea here was that I wanted to be able to have a full HD image with none of the crap on there and put all the junk at the bottom. Okay, so you got a, uh, a histogram, a, a waveform, and a vector scope. At the bottom there, yeah. Yeah, so now, let me kind of go through how this works. It has a uh, airy rosette here, which we did because we wanted the nodal point to be perfect like that. Uh, it also has a quarter 20 in the bottom for traditional ways of mounting it. Uh, now, let's talk about, it has four pre-programmable buttons here, full menu control, uh, it has every feature you can possibly think of in this thing, you know. A couple of new things that are gone. Well, and but I see SDI and HDMI. Right, and cross convert. Okay, so you can go between send HDMI and SDI out and vice versa? You can go HDMI in, in. and then you can go HDMI and SDI out. Nice. So you, let's say we're coming, the camera's recording raw. Comes into here, you create inside here your own LUT. You can actually load LUTs or put LUTs in there? You can load a LUT from the back through the USB or you can create your own color. You go in there, adjust all your colors, and then you can save it as Andy1. You, uh, you can put it to the USB, take it out, stick it in Resolve, stick it in the DaVinci. You get sort of back to where you were right. so you can start. Now, that's cool. That's cool because your client you know, comes in and then they see it and they're like, whoa, this isn't what I saw. You know, I mean. So you actually use it as a, you know, and apply that LUT on the out on the output, even on the SDI. Or well, it, hold on. Yeah, now yeah. here's where it gets interesting. Yeah. You go into the thing. It says LUT stream EVF, LUT stream output. Ah, oh, so you can shoot. Ah, oh, nice. So, and then it also has feature output, feature input, uh, EVF. So now here we have a. The, you could have the histogram on here, and I'm the director. I'm in the tent. I might want my own LUT that I'm that I is like you know, a little chroma hot so the clients look at it. DP might, he might want this in monochrome for all I know, the shooter, the operator. Right. So, and I, and in the field, on, and in the tent, I can put on just the histogram. I can select any single feature I want and put it on. So it's, it's like two totally different systems, which is kind of cool. Very cool. Very <laughs> useful for a lot of things to be on just as a viewfinder, really. Approximately 3,000 for this unit. The LT version, approximately 1500 We, To be honest, I just got this thing done like two days ago. So the, the LT is like a lower res on the... Yeah, it's just uh, 1024 by 768, so it's 84% HD. It's still, you obviously look between these three. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's still higher resolution than these by far. But it's not this, you know. I mean, this is 5.5 million dots, yeah. and the LT is... 3.3 million dots, so it's about half the resolution. So, how big actually is the screen in there? A good, good question. It's a micro OLED, so to get 5.5 million dots on this this particular OLED is about the size of my thumbnail. It's very small. The the uh, my pinky nail is about the size of the LT version. Okay. So, but if you think about it, it's not really magnified that much because. Because one of the things that we spend a lot of time on, and you know, we're, we're operators and shooters and producers, so we know what we want. Right. It's gonna have our latest formula, anti-fog. Uh, we are working on a smart glass option that we're trying to get working. We're, we're pretty close, so I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but when you take your eye away, the screen goes black. Nice, yeah. When you put your eye in there, the screen lights up. Obviously, the, the features in the thing has an enormous amount of features. I, I can't even get into them all, but uh, you can put them here, like I have a uh, false color, I have red line, although this thing has a, a spectrum gauge on the red line, so you can set it to any single color you want in the spectrum. Um, like, it's like peaking effect? And, yeah. yeah, you can have purple line if you want. Yeah. Well, this is great. There's a lot of good stuff here. Yeah. yeah. Now we need this video together. It's the first of many, right? <laughs> yeah. We're going to keep doing more? Totally. But yeah. you've got to come back tomorrow to see the control grip. I'm going to be back. I will be back. Early. Great. All right. Well, no. Later. <laughs> later. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. End of the afternoon. Appreciate Great. it. See you guys next time.